Hello friends, I'm not Jim Nance, I'm Kurt Berglund, and you're joining me for some Pine Tar, Great Teams of the 20th Century Set, Volume 2, Baseball, with a couple of great teams of the not-too-distant past. It's the 1993 Toronto Blue Jays, winners of the World Series over the Philadelphia Phillies in six, over against, sorry, visiting the Bronx to take on the 1977 New York Yankees, winners of the World Series in six, over the L.A. Dodgers. Before we get to that game, and of course the starting lineups, want to remind you, you can get this set Right now, from me for fifteen ninety nine PDF cards shipped to your door for fifty nine ninety nine via UPS shipping. Berglund dot Kurt is my PayPal, and yes, yeah, somewhere I've got that. I'll put the PayPal address and my email in the description for this game in case you want to pick up the set couple of great teams from the 20th century. And to kick things off, I've got something you may not have, and I kind of hope you don't. It's 1991 Donruss Baseball. It's as close as I could get to the season that the Blue Jays are representing. Uh, and it's junk wags. Don't leave me a comment telling me these are worthless. I know. But I thought we might rip a few packs. Ooh, Series 2. And see who's in here. See if we find any Blue Jays to theme up the day. Or maybe some Yankees from 1977 that just hadn't retired by this point. Had to be a couple. All right, here we go. Nails, Lenny Dykstra. Look at that. Darryl, the late Daryl Hamilton, the Milwaukee Brewers. Wally Whitehurst, fifth starter type, long reliever for the Mets. Jeff Montgomery, closer for the Red for the Royals. Kind of a junk baller, I think, if I remember correctly. Jerry Goff, Expos, left-handed hitting catcher. Steve Searcy never quite made it with the Tigers. Jose Gonzalez, pinch runner for Tommy Lasorda's Dodgers. Felix Fermin, I know him as a Mariner. You know him as an Indian. We know him as a guy they couldn't hit. Juan Augusto, late of the White Sox. Finishing things up with the Astros. Here we go. An MVP card of Rafael Palmero. Yes, sir, Bob. Wag your finger at this Congress. You do that. Ken Patterson. Pitcher. Don't really remember him. Don't have anything cute to say. Tim Leana. He was on that Reds team that won the World Series. Max Venable was a National Leaguer. I don't remember him with the Angels, but there he is. Some guy named Sandberg. I don't know. Maybe you've heard of him. And Melito Perez, who I had on a fantasy team. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it anymore. And this is part of a Willie Stargell puzzle. All right, you want to do one more? We'll do one more pack, and I'll see what we get, and then we'll get to the lineups. 1991 Fleer action. Kelly Downs, he was on that 1989 Giants World Series club. Vicente Palacios. I want to say he was a Philly later on, but I may be wrong about that. 
Here's an award winner, Bob Welch, the Cy Young. 27 game winner. Checklist, these are a big deal now. Rich Rodriguez. I don't really remember him. And now I know why. Willie Randolph as an Oakland A athletic. Some guy named Bonds. I don't know. Gary Wayne. Two first names. I'll let you be the judge. Terry Lee. Two first names. I'll let you be the judge. Here's an all-star. Chris Sabo. Now we got a connection to our game. Except he's in the wrong uniform. Joe Carter was the right fielder on the 93 Blue Jays. He'll be playing today. Uh, Joe Gray... Is that his name? Gray? Tell me in the comments if I said that wrong. Mark Carrion. Famous, of course, is a guy who flies on planes a lot. Mark Carrion. Junior Naboa. Makes you wonder where the heck Senior Naboa is. And last but not least, Turner Ward. Another connection to today's game. He was a reserve on the 1993 Blue Jays. And yet another piece of Willie Stargell's puzzle. All right. Well, that was fun. Hope you thought so. We can do more of this if you like it. Tell me in the comments. If you're into that kind of thing, ripping junk wax with me. I've got a lot of it. All right. With all that said, it's Toronto at New York. Let's go to the starting lineups. All right. For the visiting Toronto Blue Jays, it's Ricky Anderson. Leading. By the way, the lineup I'm about to give you, I stole from Cito Gaston. So it's kind of an as-played lineup. And, of course, we know that that keeps heads from exploding all over this great land of ours. All right, leading off in left field, it's Ricky Anderson. Betting second in center field, Devon White. Betting third at second base, Roberto Alomar. Betting fourth in right field, that guy, Joe Carter. Betting fifth at first base, John Olerud. Betting sixth, the DH, Paul Molitor. Betting seventh, the shortstop, Tony Fernandez. An in-season acquisition by the 93 Jays. I bet you forgot that. Ed Sprague bats eighth, he plays third, and Pat Borders bats ninth, and will do the catching. The pitcher for these Toronto Blue Jays is right-hander Pat Hentgen. He's an A-plus pitcher the first two times through the order, then he stays an A-plus pitcher. No strikeout or walk modifiers, he can give you seven innings, and more if it's going well. 32 starts, two relief appearances for Hentgen in 93. All right, for the homestanding 77 Yankees, it's Mickey Rivers leading off in center field. Lou Pinella batting second. He's the DH today. Thurman Munson bats third. He's the catcher. Reggie Jackson bats fourth. He's in right. Chris Chambliss bats fifth. He's at first base. Greg Nettles bats sixth. He's at third. Roy White bats seventh. He's the left fielder. Willie Randolph bats eighth. He's at second base. And Bucky Dent bats ninth and will play shortstop. The pitcher for these Yankees, I just kind of randomly pulled one. It's Don Gullett. 22 starts in 77 at home. He's a B pitcher the first two times through the order. Then he becomes a C after that. Walk modifiers on 55 and 77. And... He can give you seven innings and more if it's going well. So we are ready to go in the Bronx with this one. Get organized a little bit here. And I'm going to be using in this ball game uh, 2D10s and a third D10 when we have to go for an error check 
Uh, and the third D10, these, well, wait a minute. Here we go. So we're gonna use the red die for the tens digit, the white die for the ones. And when we need to do an error check, I'll be pulling out the blue one. All right, so now we're ready. It's Henkin versus Gullet in Yankee Stadium. Here's Henderson leading off against Gullet, and the pitch is hit on a line at Willie Randolph, who makes the catch, and there's one gone. We're underway in the Bronx. Devon White batting second. 273 in 93. And hey, struck him out. Huh? That's Gullet's first. Two down in the first, and it's Roberto Alomar. A pitch from Gullet. Get to the kitchen, oh my god, I smell gas, it's a range, Jack. Where did he hit it, where did he hit it? He hit it to the shortstop, that's Bucky Denton, that's by him. It's in the hole and it's through for a base hit for Robbie Alomar. So, Gullet allows a two out single. Alomar can run, he's a 79 and we're free to send him. With two outs, am I gonna do that? Let's check Thurman Munson's arm. It's a minus one, so that knocks him down to a 78. Carter steps in the batter's box. Gullet the stretch, the pitch. There goes Alomar. He throw down to Randolph he is not in time. And Alomar steals second. He's in scoring position with two outs for Carter. Gullet the stretch one more time. The pitch to Joe Carter is a base hit for Carter. Alomar, let's see, 27. That's right field. Alomar is going to hold a third. And it's Blue Jays at the corners for Olerud, who had 363 on the 93 season. Hmm, first and third, two outs, gullet and a jam. The pitch to Olerud is driven to center. Rivers on the run. Got to the catch and it's a range, Jack. But Rivers is a positive fielder. He's going to make that catch. And that will be three outs in the first. The Blue Jays get two hits and they strand them both after... A half inning, we have no score. Henkin coming out. The Yankees lick their chops at the thought of right-handers. These Yankees lick their chops at the thought of right-handers pitching in Yankee Stadium. So we'll see if it works out that way. Rivers, one of his, maybe his best year, actually. 326, the pitch. From Henkin, hey, struck him out, and there's one gone. Now it's Canella, Sweet Lou. Maybe his best year as well, 330. The pitch, pitcher modifier. We got an A-plus pitcher on the mound, and this is a ground out, and that's going to turn into... Strike three, swinging. First two men go down on strikes, and now it's Munson. Thurman at the plate with two outs, nobody on. Driven to center, Devon White on the run. He's going to make the catch, and that will retire the Yankees in the first. We've played one complete, and we have no score. For the Jays, it'll be six, seven, eight coming up. Molitor, Fernandez, and Sprague. Couple of Brewer connections there. Molitor, of course, and Ed Sprague's dad was a Brewer pitcher for a couple of seasons. All right, so it's Molitor first, 332 for him. The pitch from Gullet, 25, that's a single, but the modifier table, he walks him. Now it's Fernandez. Gullet the stretch. The pitch to Fernandez is hit to right. Charging hard is Reggie, and he's going to get there for out number one. Sprague up now. Double play target. We can get him to hit it on the ground. Gullet the stretch. The pitch. 
trouble, but the modifier table's involved because it ends in a five or a zero, and it's a base hit. It's a base hit for Sprig. Molitor, it's to center field, so Rivers collects it and throws it in. Molitor goes to third, and once more we have Jays at the corners. This time with one out and Borders coming to the plate. Pat Borders. Yankee infield, double played up, the pitch. Hey, struck him out. That's number two for Gullet and he picked a good time to do it. Two gone now, still at the corners. Top of the order, Ricky Henderson up. Pretty devastating card against lefties. The pitch to him is going to be another base hit. Molitor scores. It's one nothing Jays. Around second is Sprague. He's going to go to third, and it's an RBI single for Ricky Henderson. White coming to the plate. First and third again. one nothing Toronto. Gullet, the stretch, the pitch to White. Ground ball, Chambliss. He's going to take it himself, and he does, and that retires the side. But the Jays get one run on two hits. They leave two. It's the walk that ends up coming around to score. After one and a half, it's one nothing. Toronto. Bottom of the second, Reggie, Chambliss, and Nettles coming up. Lefty, lefty, lefty against Henkin. Henkin winds and delivers. He walks him. So Reggie's on board with a walk. Lead-off walk for both teams in the second inning. Chambliss up. Henkin the stretch, the pitch. Ground ball, Fernandez. Fernandez goes to Alomar for one. The relay to Olerud is not in time. Chambliss beats the wrap at first. It's a 6-4. Fielder's choice to retire Chambliss, Nettle, Chamb or to retire Jackson. Chambliss is safe at first. Excuse me, Nettles is up now. One out, bottom of the second. Yankees down a run, the pitch. Ball two, ball two to Nettles. He's ahead in the count. And that's ball four to Nettles. And there's two on now with one out. Henkin's control has suddenly left him. Roy White coming to the plate. On deck is Willie Randolph. There's one man out. The pitch. No modifier. Hit to right. On the run is Carter, and he's going to make the catch. Chambliss is tagging at second, but he will hold. And that's two outs. Still two men on. Chambliss at second. Nettles at first. Randolph at the plate. Hankins pitch. Ball two. Wildness affecting Henkin. The pitch. Got to the kitchen. It's a range check. Oh my god, I smell gas. 58. It's pitcher. And it's off his glove. It's going to be a base hit. Everybody's going to be safe. And Chambliss now is, moves up to third. Nettles to second. Randolph is at first. So the bases are dripping with the Yankees for Bucky Dent. Hentgen in a jam. Two outs. Bases loaded. One pitch from getting out of it. The pitch to Dent. And that was the pitch. High and deep to left. But under it is Ricky Henderson, and he's going to make the catch for out number three. So the Yankees threaten. They leave three, but they don't score any of them. And after two, it's one nothing Toronto. Alomar, Carter, and Olerud, 3-4-5 up against Gullet in the third. Pitch to Alomar. Hit to center. Mickey Rivers looking painful as he runs, but he's going to get there. One down. Now it's Carter. One for one in the game so far. The pitch to Joe. Grounded to Randolph. Willie plants and throws to Chambliss for out number two. And now it's Olerud. 
Gullet winds and delivers. Hit to center. Rivers one more time. And that will end the Blue Jays with Gullet's first 1-2-3 inning. We go to the bottom of the third, and it's one nothing Toronto. See if Henkin is over that early wildness he was dealing with last inning. This is the great teams of the 20th century set for Pine Tar Baseball. All of the ordering information is in the description of this video, so check it out. PDF and cards are available, and the game is available for free. Just let me know you need it. Rivers, Pinella, and Munson, one, two, three, in the bottom of the third for the Yankees. The pitch to Mickey. It's a hit, but we got the modifier table. Hey, struck him out. That's the second time Mickey's gone down in the game. It's the third for Henkin. And with one out, it's Pinella coming to the plate. Lou also struck out in the first inning. Ground ball, Tony Fernandez. He gloves it and smoothly throws to Olerud for out number two. Now it's Munson. Thurman's 0 for 1. Pitch from Henkin. Thurman slaps that one to right field. Going the other way, it drops in front of Carter, and he'll be on with a single to bring up Reggie with two outs. Reggie walked in the second. Henkin the stretch, the pitch. To left, toward the line. Ricky Henderson is there, and he will make the catch for out number three. So we played three complete. It's one nothing Toronto in the Bronx. Six, seven, eight coming up again for Toronto. Molitor, Fernandez, and Sprague against Gullet. Molitor walked and scored the only run of the game back in the second inning. We're in the top of the fourth. Base. Oh, wait. Modifier check. And... He walked him. Base runner for Toronto. Fernandez comes up. Gullet the stretch. The pitch to him. Ground ball, Bucky Dent. He goes to Randolph for one. The relay to Chambliss is in time for a rally-crushing, soul-crushing double play. Turned by the Yankees. Two outs, nobody on now for Sprague. Gullet's pitch to him. High into center field, but Rivers has plenty of room and will make the catch for out number three. We played three and a half. No, I'm sorry, one nothing Blue Jays. Henkin out to face Chambliss, Nettles, and White in the bottom of the fourth for the Yankees. The pitch. On a line to Devon White, and he'll make the catch for out number one. Nettles now. Greg is no official at bats. He walked back in the second. The pitch. Ground ball Sprague. To his right, he plants and throws to Olerud for two down, and now it's Roy White. Oh, for one for Roy, the pitch. To right field, that's Joe Carter, and he will make the catch for out number three. We've played four complete. Henkin has retired six of the last seven hitters he's faced. We go to the fifth. one nothing Toronto. Gullet will face Borders and then the top of the order with Henderson and then Devon White. All right. Borders struck out in the second. Pitch to him. Hey, struck him out. That's number three for Gullet. Second time, Borders has struck out, and now it's Ricky, top of the order. Gullet threw hard, but we're, was nearing the end by 1977. Pitch to Ricky is a line drive, base hit to right field. Drops in front of Jackson, and he's on for the second time. And now we're going to see Ricky move. He's an 82 minus Munson's one. So he's an 81 with the arm. White stands in. Gullet the stretch. 
the pitch. There goes Ricky. Munson's throw down to Bucky Dent is not in time. Ricky steals second. And the Jays have a man in scoring position with one out in the fifth. White behind in the count, 0-1. Pitch to him. A comebacker to Gullet. Uh, Henderson's going to hold at second as Gullet makes the throw to Chambliss at first. Two down now, and Alomar is up with Carter on deck. Alomar is one for two, the pitch. Ground ball, Nettles, diving to his left, gets up, fires to Chambliss, retires the side. That will do it for Toronto in the fifth. We're halfway through, and it's one nothing Toronto as we go to the bottom of the fifth. Randolph, Dent, and then Rivers, 8-9-1 for the Yankees. Randolph, one for one in the game. Henkin winds and delivers, and this is going to be trouble. Over White's head. Look at Randolph flying around second. White hits Fernandez with the relay. The throw to Sprague is not in time. Randolph with a sliding triple. And the Yankees have something going in the bottom of the fifth. Dent is up. Nobody out. Attempting to put a play on here. Hentgen is going to go from the stretch. The pitch home to Dent. He's not bunting. No pitcher modifier. Ground ball. Uh, to Fernandez. Randolph holds. Randolph holds as Fernandez makes the throw to Olerud, and there's one down. Now it's Rivers. Billy Martin, not happy in the Yankee dugout. The pitch. Ground ball, Olerud. He gloves it. He's going to flip to Henkin, covering for the out as Randolph sprints home with the tying run and it's one to one with two outs now in the bottom of the fifth. The Yankees have tied it up. Pinella's 0 for 2. Rivers gets the RBI. Pinella with a base hit to center field. Drops in front of White. The Yankees have a two out base runner. He's the leading run. Munson up now. Thurman's 1 for 2. Hent in the stretch. The pitch home. Base hit Munson, spanks it to center. Pinella stops at second, and Jackson comes to the plate. That might get some action going in the bullpen for Toronto. Al Leiter is going to start to throw. Left-hander. Jackson up. Pinella on second. Munson on first. Two men out. Hank in the stretch. Checks the runners. The pitch to Reggie. Is ball two. Ball two. Reggie's 0 for 1 with a walk. The pitch. Ground ball, Robbie Alomar. He's going to go the short way to Fernandez covering second, and that will retire the Yankees. But they get a run on three hits and leave two. After five, we've decided nothing. It's one-to-one -one in the Bronx. Gullet, with a new lease on life, has Carter, Olerud, and Molitor coming up in the top of the six. Four, five, six hitters for the Toronto Blue Jays. He walks Carter, base runner, right away. It's the third time Gullet has walked the leadoff batter in an inning. Olerud up. And that's going to get the Yankee bullpen going. 
Dick Tidrow, the late Dick Tidrow, starting to throw in the bullpen for the Bronx Bombers. Olerud, 0 for 2 on the day. The pitch from Gullet. Combacker to Gullet. He gloves it. Knocks it down, picks it up, throws to Chambliss, retires Olerud as Carter moves to second. Now it's Molitor. Lead run in scoring position with one out. Molitor's walked twice and scored the Blue Jays' run. Gullet the stretch and the pitch. That's a walk, or is it? No, it's hit to center. Mickey Rivers under it, and he'll make the catch for out number two. Here comes Tony Fernandez. Gullet a pitch away from getting out of it. 66, got to the kitchen, grounded to Nettles. He gloves it. He fires to Chambliss to retire Fernandez and the Blue Jays in the sixth. So a leadoff walk does not hurt. We go to the bottom of the sixth. We're tied at one. We got a good one in the Bronx. Hentgen will face Chambliss, Nettles, and White. Five, six, seven for the New Yorkers. Chambliss 0 for 2. The pitch to him. Line drive. Base hit. Drops in center field in front of White. More trouble for Hentgen. Base runners all over the place in the last couple of innings. Nettles coming up. Lighter gets up again to start throwing. Nettles up. To face Hentgen. The pitch to him. Ground ball, Alomar. He goes to Fernandez for one. The relay to Olerud is not in time, and Nettles beats the rap at first. Chambliss retired on a 4-6 fielder's choice. White up now with Nettles at first. Hink in the stretch, the pitch. Hit to center, White to his left. Makes the catch. Two down, and now it's Randolph. Two for two on the day with a triple, and he scored the Yankees' only run. The pitch. Hit to left, sinking fast, but Ricky Henderson's there, and that will retire the Yankees in the sixth. We go to the seventh, and it's 1-1. Good game. Sprague, Borders, and Henderson, 8-9-1, coming up for Toronto. Sprague is one for two. Pitch from Gullet. Ground ball, Randolph. Willie to his left. Plants, throws to Chambliss. One down. Now it's Borders. 0 for two, pair of strikeouts. Ground ball nettles. Takes it on a hop. Fires to Chambliss. Two down. And now it's Henderson. Five in a row retired by Gullet. Henderson. Ball four. He takes his base. White up. Ha! I'm going to send Ricky with two outs. Gullet the stretch, the pitch. There goes Ricky. The throw down from Munson to Dent is not in time. Ricky steals second. Two stolen bases for him. Alomar with a third, and their Blue Jays are running on these Yankees. Henderson in scoring position now for White. White's behind in the count 0-1. First base is open. Alomar's on deck. Pitch to White. Hey, struck him out, and that's number four for Gullet. And it ends the Blue Jays' seventh. We are ready to stretch him out in the Bronx and sing Sweet Caroline. Oops, nope, not, not Sweet Caroline. Uh, what would it be? New York, New York, something like that. Constantly playing. Uh, bottom of the seventh, Dent, Rivers, and Pinella against Hentgen. <clears throat>
going to get some different folks warming up for the Jays. It's going to be Eichhorn and Castillo throwing lefty-righty double-barrel action. Just the way I like it. Bottom of the seventh. Dent is 0 for 2. Henkin winds and delivers. Hey, struck him out. That's number four for Henkin. Henkin's allowed six hits. Gullet's allowed five. Gullet's walked four. Henkin's walked two. Rivers coming to the plate now. Mickey is over one, but he drove in. The Yankees run back in the fifth. The pitch. Hit to right. It's a looper. Carter on the run. He's going to get there. Two down. And now Pinella. One for three. Ground ball, Olerud. He's going to take it himself, and that will retire the side in the seventh. Six in a row retired by Hentgen. We go to the eighth, and it's one to one. Four. Well, yeah, they're going to keep Gullet in there. For Toronto, in the top of the eighth, it's going to be Alomar, Carter, and Olerud, 3-4-5. If anybody gets on, it'll be Molitor. Gullet winds and delivers to Alomar, ground ball, Bucky Dent. He collects it and throws to Chambliss, and there's one down. Carter up now, one for two with a walk. Gullet winds and delivers. Chopper on the infield, off Gullet's glove, rolls toward Nettles. He bare hands, he throws. Carter is safe at first, and the Jays have a base runner with one out in the eighth. Now it's Olerud. Tidro and Lyle has now joined him in the Yankee bullpen. Olerud is 0 for 3. Molitor is on deck. Carter at first. The pitch. Ground ball. Chambliss. He knocks it down. He picks it up. He steps on first as Carter advances to second. And with two outs now, it's Molitor with Fernandez on deck. So the go-ahead run is in scoring position at second base in Joe Carter. There's two outs. Molitor is up. Fernandez is on deck, and I am not going to let Paul Molitor beat me when Tony Fernandez is on deck. So, Paul Molitor is going to get an intentional walk, and there's going to be two on for Toronto now with Tony Fernandez coming up. Uh, okay. Not that Tony Fernandez was an easy out, because he wasn't. Gullet's going to try and get him. Carter at second, Molitor at first, two men out. Gullet the stretch, the pitch to Fernandez. Get to the kitchen, oh my God, it's a range check. I smell gas. Roy White makes the catch. And saves the day for the Yankees. That retires Toronto in the eighth. We go to the bottom of the eighth, it's 1-1. Now we'll see if Hentgen can hold serve. 3-4-5 up for New York. Munson, Jackson, and Chambliss. Righty, lefty, lefty against Hentgen. Eichhorn and Castillo are loose in the Toronto bullpen. Munson is 2-3 for three leading off the eighth inning here. 1-1 one, one game. Hentgen winds and delivers. It's a hit, but it's the modifier table. Struck him out. Five strikeouts for Hentgen. 
Now it's Reggie, 0 for 2 with a walk. Henkin winds and delivers. High to left, deep to left. Henderson to the track and makes the catch. For out number two, and now it's Chambliss. One for three for Chris. Nettles on deck, the pitch. Hey, struck him out. That's number six for Hentgen. We're going to the ninth. We're tied at one. Wow. And Hentgen has retired nine in a row now. Just seems to be getting stronger. I know that's not technically possible. Doesn't stop people from talking about it, though. He's getting stronger as the game goes on. No, he's not. Stop it. He might be getting more people out, but he can't be physically getting stronger the more exerted he is. It just doesn't. Never mind. All right. Sprague, Borders, and Henderson. 8 9 1 for Toronto. Sprague is 1 for 3. I'm going to leave Gullet in there. Pitch to Sprague from Gullet. That one bounces to the screen. One, one ball, no strikes. Pitch to Sprague. Hey, struck him out. That's number five for Gullet. One gone in the ninth. Borders up. Gullet winds and delivers. Hit to center. Mickey Rivers charging hard. Mickey Rivers gets there for out number two. Now it's Henderson. Gullet winds. Ricky's been everywhere. Two for three. A ribby. Two stolen bases and a walk. Pitch to him. Base hit for Henderson. Drops into right field in front of Reggie. He's got his third hit and his fourth Time on base. Here comes White. That's going to do it for Gullet. And we're going to see... We're going to see Tidro coming on. With two outs in the night. Gullet is done. He went eight and two-thirds. He allowed... Seven hits, all singles. He walked four unintentionally, one intentionally. He struck out five. He allowed one run so far, and it's earned. However, Henderson on first base is his responsibility. He can only, well, no, he, yeah, he can only lose the game. Tidrow comes on. He's a right-hander. He had 42 relief appearances in 77. He's an A pitcher. No strikeout or walk modifiers. He can go three if you need him to. And White is at the plate, and he's got an 0-for-4 day working. Two strikeouts for Devon White. Alomar is on deck. Tidrow, the stretch, the pitch. Ground ball, Chambliss. He's going to take it himself and does and retires the Blue Jays in the ninth. We go to the bottom of the ninth. Any old kind of a run is going to win it for the Yankees. Hentgen is out for one more inning, maybe. Castillo and Icorn have worked a full game in the bullpen, but they're ready. Nettles, White, and Randolph, 6-7-8 for the Yankees in the ninth. Pitch to Nettles. Hit to center. White under it and makes the catch. Devon White under it and makes the catch for out number one. All right. Let's see if we can do it that way. Let's see if we can do it this way. There we go. Maybe that's better. All right, Roy White is 0 for 3. Henkin winds and delivers. Ground ball, Tony Fernandez. He gloves it and throws to Olerud for out number 2. Here's Randolph. 
two for three, scored the Yankees run. Dent is on deck, but if it push comes to shove, nobody believes he's going to bat. The pitch to Willie is hit to center field. Devon White is under it, and we're going to have an extra inning ball game today. We're going to the 10th with the score tied 1-1 in the Bronx. Henkin, in case you're scoring, and if you are, yikes. Uh, you'll notice that Mr. Henkin has retired 12 in a row. So uh, right now he has a string of 12 in a row retired working. So in the Blue Jay 10th, it's Alomar, Carter, and Olerud 3-4-5 against Tidro. Pitch to Robbie is to right and deep. Driving Reggie to the wall, but nobody's going to get this one. It's 2-1 Blue Jays. As Alomar has left the building, so has Elvis, and it's 2-1. Carter's 2 for 3 with a walk. The pitch to him. Ground ball, Randolph. He throws to Chambliss for out number 1. Suddenly up and working in the bullpen is... Blue Jays closer, Dwayne Ward. We may have seen the last of Mr. Henkin. Olerudo for four. Tidro winds and delivers. Center field, Rivers right at him. Two down. And now Molitor. 0 for 1, 2 unintentional walks, 1 intentional walk. Tidrow winds and delivers to Molitor. This one is hit to center. Rivers, one more time, makes the catch. And that will retire the Blue Jays. But on a leadoff, Roberto Alomar Homer, the Blue Jays take a 2-1 lead in this one. And now it's going to be Dwayne Ward on for the save possibility give you Henkin's numbers Pat Henkin went nine innings allowed six hits he walked two he struck out six he allowed one run it was earned and he can win the game Bucky Dent's not going to bat as Billy Martin's going to his bench, and it's going to be Del Alston to bat for Martin for Dent. Against the right-hander Ward, let's tell you about him. 71 games, A plus on the road, 55 and through 60, and 77 is his strikeout modifier. And he can give you one inning, and the Blue Jays hope he actually does that. Alston leads off against Ward. On deck is Rivers, then Pinella. If anybody gets on, it'll be Munson. The pitch from Alston, from Ward to Alston is hit to left. Ricky Anderson toward the line, has room, and makes the catch for out number one. Bottom of the tenth, 2-1 Blue Jays. Ward to Rivers. Spank to center. Under it is White. And Devon White puts it away for out number two. Here comes Pinella. Last chance saloon for the Yankees. Lou is one for four. On deck is Munson. Pitch to Pinella. And it's a base hit for Sweet Lou right up the middle. And he's on with a two out single and now Munson comes up and Paul Blair is going to run for Pinella at first base and now it'll be Munson against Ward Munson's two for four. He struck out in the eighth. Ward the stretch, the pitch. We've got our first error check. Error check. 
Need all three dice. Red and the white tells you who. The blue one tells you if. This is hit to third. It's Ed Sprague. And the two, he picks it up, fires to first, and promptly throws it away. Olerud blocks it, but Blair's speed takes him to third. It's an E5 in the bottom of the 10th to get Blair to third base. Yankees at the corners, Munson on first. Jackson at the plate. Now they're going to run for Thurman. And it's going to be Fred Stanley running for Thurman Munson at first base. So it's Blair at third, Stanley at first, and Reggie Jackson at the plate against Dwayne Ward. Reggie goes deep, Yankees win. 2-1 Blue Jays. Actually, Stanley is the winning run, so Reggie hits a double, and the Yankees could win it. Ward, the stretch. Reggie's 0 for 3 with a walk. And we've got another error check. This could be a little gruesome. It's a 70. That's hit to Tony Fernandez. But it's a 6, and he makes the play. And that will end the game. Reggie hit it hard, but Fernandez made the play. And it's a 2-1 Blue Jays winner. Winning pitcher is Pat Hentgen. Save goes to Dwayne Ward. The loser is Dick Tidrow. Line score goes like this for the Blue Jays. Two runs on eight hits, and they committed one error that was almost extremely costly. The Yankees, one run on seven hits, and they committed no errors. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to check out the ordering information for the great teams of the 20th century set for Pine Tar Baseball in the description for this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my page. I need your support to keep my Facebook page going. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. So long, everybody.